you still got vlog for me? No. Do you think you'll come in the morning? No. Good morning. Let's get on the road. Light me up. Don't you stop. Cause tonight, it's on the line. Show me how you get on down. Close my eyes. Take me for a ride. Ladies, that is very nice. Charlotte Gillet. Mm. Ends like I could just cut my arms off my coat. <laughs> <laughs> so true, so true. We have arrived and now it's home. We have got a room thanks to Lucy. Two rooms, we've got both of our rooms. We've got both yeah, of our rooms. Well, well done. done. Five hours later, oh, I've just looked yeah. at my Five lens. Hours? No. <laughs> I've just looked at my lens. Look at the state of it. I hope oh, that's not coming through. Give it a cleanie weenie. Yeah, I need to. Um, but it's yes, so we are all. Dressed up. You know, Lucy's ready. always moaning that she's cold. I think she today is. she might be warm. She's going to be definitely warm. I love the cuffs of that jacket as well. <gasps> oh, look and at this is there. our little. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be Apparently, it's a little bit of a bumpy we ride. We're on. Strap up and strap it's on. Like it's going to be a bumpy ride. Less than five minutes. Ah, I do. <laughs> Depending how heavy we are. You watch out miles per gallon. <laughs> so guys, if you can't tell, and whether you can still actually hear me, we are at Boys Horse of the Year show, which I'm sure you've already guessed from the thumbnail, and... <laughs> Okay. I just said to the chat about that like, evening. Well, it went dark. <laughs> One p.m. Yeah, also be a show. You would have you would have been able to tell from the thumbnail, the title of this vlog. So we have been invited by Hoys to come here and vlog as the full reverse, which is very, very, very exciting. It's suddenly gone very quiet. There's our other part of the party. We have got an absolute jam-packed itinerary for today. Um, and tomorrow we're staying overnight. We've just been in the hotel, obviously got ready, got the buggy over and uh, looking forward to the next couple of days. This is the lovely Abby who we've been talking to um, and has been organising us and got our, our itinerary and everything ready. So uh, yeah, look out guys. Obviously four vlogs are coming your way. Tina found this out about me earlier. Would you like to find out? Yeah, you've got to come down to my level, so um, A really fun fact. Go on then. The last time that I was at NEC, I was doing an accounting oh. competition. Wait, accounting? And we know how competitive she is. Wait, I had a meltdown What in the do you middle. mean? Like learning how to count. No! <laughs> I wasn't far, well, 10. Um, no, for my accounting qualification for the college, I came here and did a competition. Oh my gosh, that is high octane. Stop. I just, <laughs> how did you do? Very badly because we had to split out into three and I completely messed up my thing. I was crying and the guy oh, came over no. and was like, it's okay, it's all right. I'm like, no, it's not. I want to win. <laughs> so yeah, a little fun fact for you guys. That's Last time fact. I was here, never been to Horse of the Year show before, but I am very, very excited, obviously, to be here with all the girls too. Yes. Oh my goodness. So we are in the warm up. I'm not being funny, but how small is this warm up? Also, could we play which pony do you want to take? And can you imagine riding in a tent? I would quite like to take one home right now. I'd like now. to take one. Oh, 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 he looks keen being. Hey. Are we going to get to watch him? Oh, you're done, mate. Vloggers oh, are oh. us. <laughs> now it's in to. Oh, look! It's... Hello, Megan. I don't know, I'm walking around with the real thing. <laughs> but yes, we are now into the shopping village. I actually have a few things. Usually we don't really have time to shop at these kind of events. I'm very determined to make time because there is a few things on my list. So each one of us ran a Instagram competition all through the Hoys website and we're meeting our first winner. I ran the first competition and the lovely Ellie won two tickets and a personal meet and greet here in the press office. It'd be lovely to talk to you and learn about And Meg had a cheeky little mention of your business in her vlog so she's got a lovely, yeah, she's saying about it so if you want to see what she got head over to Meg's channel but it's been lovely talking to you and meeting you and I hope that you guys all enjoy the rest of your day. Did you hear that? Tina's got their knickers on. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be hot on my way. Yeah, we throw it to the moon. 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 Yeah, we throw it
An hour back at the hotel, and now we're all glammed up. I think we're going to do an awkward film. Oh, yeah. awkward, now awkward. for another reel. Awkward cringe reel. <laughs> another reel. We just got the cabbie down. All got through check ins, thankfully, not this time without any beeping, but I think we had that loads in our bags last time. We're not, we're not going on holiday, Em. Oh, I wish we were. You said we got through check in. Check in. Isn't that we're just checking in? So easy jet, one one two flight. Wow. It will be one day in a vlog that we're all going on holiday somewhere. Oh, but for now, I'm just gonna like leave the But actually, we are going to pre all We all passed. We all passed. Oh yeah, we all passed. Yeah, we We need to get down. <laughs> My bad. I thought we were going to the Champions Bar. We're not quite. We're going to the press office because we have get again got a very full day ahead of us. Starting off with a meet and greet with Sophie, a brand ambassador for Digital Horse. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we've heard from Rebecca. She's absolutely lovely. So looking forward to meeting her. And she is coming along with us, and we are having a backstage tour around the stables and things like that so that'll be really really interesting then we're meeting the household cavalry absolutely tons planned yet again and looking forward to it all get started so we thought we'd come up here we're a little bit early um, but grab a coffee water and uh, yeah we'll meet sophie in a second so she won the competition that hoys ran the official competition um a lot of entries and that's when we actually crashed the website so well done sophie for uh, winning that and we will meet her shortly so we have now been joined by Sophie, Jackie and Naomi. And we've been brought a little gear. Yeah. We've got a little brownie. Mm -hmm. Make sure in little straight in there. Do you want to eat it now? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you want to eat it now? It's good. No, that's you. very, very nice. Kind, yeah. Excited for the backstage tour? Yeah, very yeah. excited. Yeah, amazing. Awesome. Right. So are we. Yeah, so are we. I don't know when we're going. In a minute, five minutes. Apart from, apart from those ones that are actually real, because they're real fans, <laughs> and they've done three shows. They've done, yeah, they've done Wings Up, Rosalie, and now here. Oh, amazing! Oh, that's amazing. Oh, aren't they pretty? Oh, I love the colours. Yeah, I thought you might. I love how we've all got the cameras out. <laughs> so we are literally like main arena is there, so having a proper backstage tour. Seeing all the flowers, jumps are in each corner, there's a moat that goes around the outside which is where press, arena party, you help bring in the jumps in and out, and we carry on. The day, so we got last night for, um, for today, five, and these are 
the professional photographers here so that then obviously the lorry park is over there they can come over and get their photos they are contracted to get a photo of every single competitor and I've just found out there is 50 1500 competitors 1500 over the course of the week and of course like we just said it is a huge big deal to be riding at this prestigious 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 show you know what I'm trying to say um, so of course you want to have a photo so like I say they are contracted to make sure that they get a photo of every single competitor so we're now walking into the lorry park We've got a show jumper there. Look at all these snazzy lorries. Wow, wow, wow. Sorry guys, you're gonna have to look through a, a mesh because we're not allowed in the pro stables. Does the lens fit through? Oh, it does, just. So we just walked through all the stables, all 800 of them. And now we've got like a little exercise ring arena that is purposely built. Obviously there is a lot of horses here and they all need to be exercised and obviously at various times so they all get allocated a time that they are to be exercised so like in here we've probably got a very we've got a mixture so we've got little ponies we've got a show jumper and more little cute ponies all bandaged up to keep them nice and clean tails plaited covers over their brow band obviously to keep that looking nice they're gorgeous absolutely gorgeous we're now going down cleanest row of stables the pony club stables as you can see it's all beautifully swept everything is all put away they've got the right hangers everything all tied away look at the lead ropes just looks oh look at the big beds in there too oh you've had a good roll oh you had a good roll no snoozing <laughs> How long can you film a horse sleeping for? So the stables are all down there. You walk up that bit there where the horses come and then go into the arena that we saw yesterday, the warm up arena. And now we're walking sort of around the back to get to the top spec arena again, something that we saw yesterday. So the team here are like the on site team are here three weeks before the event actually starts to build up everything on the outside. So there might still be concerts going on inside the main building, but obviously building all this sort of outside. Oh, and then we've just walked back into the. Uh, we are really walking like, where are we going? Oh, so this is like a little holding area that you can come out of the way of everybody riding around there and just stand up. How gorgeous. So yeah, the on-site team are here three weeks before building everything like the stables, out, everything outside. And then about a week before is when everything inside starts to be built. Apparently it takes a lot longer to put everything up than it does to take it down, as you can imagine. Um, so. By Monday, you come in and all this surface, everything will be all gone, all scooped up and taken off to the next show. Sophie? Yeah? Please can you just repeat that because that was really informative. <laughs> so this class is the 143 workers. So riders must not have attained their 17th birthday. The horse must be exceeding 133 and not exceeding 143. Um, the minimum height of the fence is 95, maximum 110. Um, the spreads can be minimum 90, maximum 120. Oh my goodness, thank you very much. I love that you've done your, how have you know that? You've done your research yeah. before, amazing. Organized. And look at the guys. We've seen everybody going around with these and been wanting them. We finally, I'm not going to lie, vlogging wasn't my pri highest priority when I first had it, so it's half eaten already, but we've all got our chocolate. <laughs> all right, they're loose. It's quite messy. You went well with the fork and the cup, but hey, I'm sure I'll survive I'll and get through it. <laughs> When we were doing the backstage tour, we did have a little sneaky peek around the household cavalry and the horses and learn a bit about them, but now we are having the official tour. Didn't film earlier, but now uh, they had just come back, so it was still like all a bit busy from the morning ride. And now we're gonna... There we go. 
really well actually he's uh, about like, about two months ago he if we banged the drum on he would just freak out so he's doing so well he's been thrown in the deep end oh, by that truly wow, that is incredible. Yeah. so these are all bred by um Daffordshire's farm in Wales um, okay. so they're you they breed them for actually working the land teaching the horses while we also train the new lads that come through um, yeah. guys and girls now. Yeah. Um, so ninety percent of the regiment's never ridden a horse before <laughs> Which is the only exception that she's 16 on the nose, I think mm. she's 16 yeah. on, um, which is not ideal because a lot <laughs> before we started out, getting yeah. women into the regiment, everyone was men, yeah, and big. then once you've got your kit on, it has four stones here, yeah, well, um, wow. including oh, saddles, yeah. helmets, um, sheepskins, so they need they to be, need to be well built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, cool. Traditionally, there used to be a lot more, so they're all Irish draft cross mm. thoroughbreds. Yeah, Sparta. Um, Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, pony noses. Um, as you can see, we've got two different colours, the lifeguards being the red and the blues and rolls being the blue there. Um, the lifeguards will have the white plume, blues with the red, and you'll notice that the lifeguards will have, a, we call it an onion at the top of their plume. That was um, from when there was two regiments of lifeguards, so the first lifeguards would have an onion. Um, just to denote the two different regiments, but they've kept it, now there's only one. Um, the two differences with the packing then, so the lifeguards again will have the white, and the blues and rolls will have the black. Um, this was sort of protection as well during when we used to ride into battle, so it used to sort of protect the leg. Um, so you sat down and grab a, grab a jack boot. Also, um, looks very comfortable. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does make no sound. It, yeah. it makes the old saddles a lot com more comfortable. It also, it's... it's so it's supposed to like represent obviously okay, when yeah. you went into battle everything you had like the personal belongings were you and your horse yeah. so that would normally be like your bed roll like rolled up oh, wow. like oh, wow. front, then you rode with it yeah and then you'd like to yeah, 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 yeah. everything that we wear and use is like actually have a yeah, yeah. yeah or, or yeah, it did yeah. have a oh. so we call these jack boots um so we basically pile them with wax and sink the wax in so it makes it uh, easier to polish and shine um, and they also see when you're on top of the horse. <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, wow! It, it was to protect your legs in yeah. battle from sword blows. Yeah, of course. Um, they're quite heavy as well. If you want to have a feel. Yeah. <laughs> and they're not the most comfortable uh, thing Ooh, in the world. That's one boot. Oh my gosh! Yeah. That's Guys, what do you mean by like adding four stone? An extra four stone yeah. on top. Yeah. Like we've all got set back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty big. That so is big. It's got Scottish, Welsh, and St. Um, we've got a bright chain, which is like a big metal chain that goes around the horse's neck and hangs down. Oh. That's just to protect the reins from sword blows. Um, we've got big golden uh, sort of head, uh, head kits. That's to protect the top of the horse's head. Um, so we sort of made it a bit more ceremonial from when we used to ride into battle and now we just clean it instead of fighting. Yeah, just shiny it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> head stool that we use as a uh, oh, yeah. top of the horse's head. Um, it's a crazy bit. It's a crazy bit. Uh, it, we have the peninsula brass from the Battle of Waterloo, so it's sort of like a battle honour, as well as on the chest place as well. Oh yeah, this is heavy. Yeah. Do you want to feel how heavy that is, like on the horse's head? Oh my god! Yeah. Alright, you're taking the weight. I can see why you um, <laughs> why you big horses. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Is that can't really be taking ponies around yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, look yeah. at his toes. His toes are glitter. Oh yes. Oh so glitter, glitter, lots of glitter. Oh look, this Cheshire Pony Club musical ride. Yeah. Cornwall track, we need to do glitter in the main. Which I love. That was very sweet. You've got glittery tums. Oh. Sorry, yeah. Touch top won't they could perform as yeah. well. Yeah. I love the name Game Boy too, that's such a cool name. Yeah. Whilst our celebrity friends have been oh friends, goodness. sorry, I got distracted. Oh my god. We have had an adventure. You've been wine tasting, I 
I see. We've been wine tasting, but we've also Lucy bought a ring, and then half an hour later decided that she didn't like it. Why is she that close? I know. It was too yellowy gold. I do understand it. Like an like an antique gold. But never mind. We had fun. We've had some chips. Did she kindly let you take it? Bought some gin. So it's been a good shopping. We've had a whole look around. There is every kind of shop that's here. And uh, yeah, how did the meet and greet go? How did the meet and greet oh go? <laughs> there were so many people. Was was, oh, everybody was so cute. I literally nearly cried at one point. Oh, they were lovely. Yeah, a little girl. Well, one of them wanted to see you two too because she'd drawn a picture of Bear, drawn a picture of Banksy, and she's drawn. I don't know if she drew Sprite or whatever. But yeah, she no. said she drew Lara Lee. Oh. She only showed us Bear and Banksy, but yeah, they were cute. Oh, I'll show you a picture. Oh, oh that's adorable. We do. We do. Oh. So we need to try and bump into us somewhere. somewhere. We will try and find you. I love how I just put my name. <laughs> Hello. Oh. We got found it. We got Sprite too. We got Lori. And there's Bear and there's Banksy. Thank you. Thank you very, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. have been totally and utterly spoiled. Oh. So Meg and Tina, Tina has just whipped up spoiler, um, whilst they were on the poly jump stand doing your meet and greet, we've all been given a little goodie bag and we've all got our names on them. We're not sure who it was or what the name was, but whoever it was that we've got so much. Stable, so. Stable, I think that was a little brunch. And look, they're so cute, there's like a little Little thing, little jar full of treats for the ponies. Some chockies for us. Oh my god, look. A headband. Yellow tassels. Oh, yellow tassels. I got purple tassels. Oh, it's so, so thoughtful. Thank you so much, guys. It's so. Oh. Yeah, thank you so, so much. It was really thoughtful and very much appreciated. Our last buggy ride! Oh, I love the buggy ride, apart from it's a bit chilly at the moment. No, it's nice. It got suddenly very, very, very busy in there. I think there must have been an interval from the main arena because there was just flocks of people walking into the shopping hall, oh, which sorry. is going to be brilliant. Good morning, are you tired? It's been a very long two days, but we're just back. Oh, yeah, it's been awesome and huge thank you to Boys for inviting us and all you guys for all the support and watching the vlogs and coming up saying hello. Enabling fun things like this to happen. This to happen and us to create this content for you guys to watch. But it's been so lovely that everyone's been brave enough. I think we've said it in the past, like we, we often see over, people yeah. a bit shy to come over and a few people have been nervous and they've said, oh, I've really plucked myself up to come over, but we really, really do appreciate it. So everybody who came over and said hello hello and thank you very much um, yeah, we're now getting dropped back to the car we already checked out of the hotel it's obviously now the next day i'm in the back we're on the way home we've got about an hour to go um, but I just realised that I haven't ended my vlog. Tina's just ended hers. I didn't actually end up filming anything at Welly Gogs HQ at the Lovely Kin. So that is all on Tina's vlog. So head over there. Check us out having a little dip swim this morning. Um, which was lovely. Lovely, yeah. Did take my uh, breath away. It did take my breath away. I can't say it didn't. I think I got it into my head that it was going to be cold. And yeah. We did a jump in and it was fine, a couple of legs I and I was like, okay. And I was like, oh, that was actually quite nice. And then was like, I can't breathe. <laughs> I couldn't talk. But no, it was absolutely lovely. Perfect end to a fabulous couple of days at Hoy's. Um, we have now come home with a lot. Wow, well, actually, I wore that yesterday, but a lot of Welly Gogs items, <laughs> um, which we are going to be getting some lovely photos of very shortly and some videos. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And potentially a very fun fun thing, thing. planned yeah. coming very very soon hopefully if we can make it all, oh, all the will. logistics we work we will. we will we will won't we um yeah so that's very exciting and something to really look forward to involving the ponies too and the doggies and yeah well he goes <laughs> obviously and us too yeah that's it that's enough um but wanted to say obviously a huge thank you to hoys for inviting us we really did have a fab couple of days like i said yesterday meeting all of you and thank you for all your support of course if you've liked this vlog please do give it a thumbs up a cheeky comment and of course hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already but until next time guys i will see you all very very soon bye, bye. <laughs> bye.